everything it's my big incredible. daddy. incredible. Aren't you busy in September? Yes, it's the busiest Everything's month. Everything's going on. Busiest month. Well, I had committed to um, a, a function that the station was having for uh, advertisers mm -hmm. and for the other um, uh, general managers of the other various states who were coming into town to say goodbye to Walter Liss, who retired the night before That's last. That's right. And so I committed to that. He said, oh, we're going to have a big party. It's going to be right. in your favorite restaurant, right, right. Bella. You're going to love it. Oh, I you're, you're going to get all liquored up, drinky, drinky, happy, happy. <laughs> Well, not really, because I had also made uh, an appointment to see my dentist. That is Your after dentist? Yeah, I had it. Uh, what are you, so you wait, you do it all in one week? It seems that way, but you make commitments early on, you know, and during the summer. Yeah, we'll go then. And all of a sudden, everything right. conde condenses to one day. So uh, I go see this dentist, and Joy had just seen him. Mm. And he lives about four, they operate four blocks away. And she said, look, I had a Novocaine shot there. And if you're going down to meet some people in a couple of hours after sitting in the chair, uh, tell him about it so he doesn't give you a full shot of Novocaine. So I... I like where this story's headed already. <laughs> so I say to the doctor, Dr. Skinner, I said, you know, I've got to go out. And, uh, and meet people, and I can't, uh, Joy said that, Novocaine. He said, well, let's give you the Novocaine, and then we have an anti-Novocaine thing that we can also give you that will reduce the impact of the Novocaine. Please. So anyway, he fills the little, little cavity in about 10 minutes, and how are you feeling? I said, you know, I'm feeling okay. The Novocaine isn't affecting me. He said, okay, then we don't need to do the other thing. Right. I, I said, can I go home now? He said, no, no, now you've got to get the... Um, Inside your gums, uh, tartar, tartar inside your gums, scaling, scaling the inside of your gums. <laughs> what? Deep yeah, no, but deep, deep, Gilman, deep. Scaling. And for that, you need gas. Oh, I like the gas. <laughs> Sign me up for the gas. So now all of a sudden, I'm feeling the effects of the Novocaine, and she puts the gas on, and she sure, scales your teeth, and that's a pain in the neck, that scaling the teeth, you know. Yeah. Go deep, low, so you don't get periodontitis, whatever it is. Right, whatever it is. <laughs> now I get up from that, and I'm wacky, bro. <laughs> yeah. Now I have to walk home four blocks. <laughs> well, you know, I can't walk anywhere. Regis, how are you? No, no, how are you? And I'm walking and I'm waving to people and I'm, oh, it's so embarrassing, I can't believe it. People must have thought I was wacko or something. So, I wish the only way that could have been better is if you were trying to drink something. <laughs> that gas will get you every time. Every time. I remember once, I, I don't know what happened. I, I was having, I guess, my wisdom teeth extracted and they first put me under the gas before they did the 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 shots of Novocaine. Right, Novocain. gets you in a good mood. Gets you in a good mood. And, and, I, and, and they told me that I thought I was a dolphin trainer. <laughs> because I guess the thing on your nose, to me, looked like a dolphin. <laughs> and I was training the dolphin. Yeah, it's wild. I'm anyway, going to have one of those machines installed in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott uh, Szymanski, who is our... Uh, Sales manager mm -hmm. here. I, I love that guy. He, he is, is a great he's guy. always up. He's always smiling. He does a great job. And had a wonderful party at uh, Valbella last night. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I went. And then Joy had to go see this singer at the Cafe Carlisle. Oh my gosh. Paolo Zott. Paolo you hear Zott. Of? You probably have. No. He appeared in one enchanted. What, what was the name of that wonderful show? South Pacific over oh, at Lincoln Center. Okay. And he was absolutely sensational. Yeah. And so they booked him into the Carlisle. But not every, and he has an operatic background, mm -hmm. but not every opera singer can, you know, sing Perform, that stuff in, right. in, in, in the Caparazzo. In, 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 in intimate Exactly. Uh, but he came out, you know, and I hate those guys. Tall, dark, <laughs> handsome, <laughs> from Brazil, little mustache. He drove me crazy. But anyway, <laughs> there he is, a great, great looking guy. And probably... <laughs> And maybe uh, the greatest voice I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, this he guy has it all. tore the building apart. Yeah, right. He was sensational. He, and uh, he's only there for the next the rest of this week, and I believe he's all sold out. But oh. Paolo Zott, what a voice and what a night. Oh, well, John thanks Pizz for telling us what we can't have. <laughs> you can go see John Pizzarelli and uh, hey, Jessica Molaski. They're fantastic. big favorites from New Jersey. That's great. And they're going into the uh, uh, cabaret in a, in a couple of weeks.
So that's it. But uh, I, it was ugly, you know. But I straightened myself out to meet everybody. You did. Everybody. You oh, sobered yeah. up. Oh yeah. How, now, how wait, are you? Once. So when you got there, had it worn off, or were you still a little sloppy? No, it, it had worn off pretty it much. Had. Yeah. And so, did you have a glass of wine or no? You know what? I didn't. I had one little half a uh, half a vodka tonic. <laughs> Just enough to get me over the edge, you know. <laughs> a half is all it takes. It's all it takes, yeah. yeah. You know that, don't you? I'll but have a half a vodka tonic, and you can put the other half in a to-go case. But I met a lot of the GMs who carry our show yes. in Toledo and Flint. And, and are they happy with us? No. Yeah. What's no, they're the main happy. Problem? No, I gotta say they're happy, unless they're kidding me. You know, they're yeah. Happy. What are they gonna say? No, but they seem to be very content with the ratings they're getting, and so I was happy to hear that. Yeah, you good, know. excellent. At San Francisco, and uh, terrific. I find more and more women are becoming general managers of stations. Yes, yes. Yeah. ABC has got a lady in Chicago mm -hmm. who's a general manager, yes. and now San Francisco. Well, I believe that you know historically uh, in the in in. Yesteryear, yeah. uh, when when more and more women were staying home and raising their families, uh, women knew women's viewing habits. So why shouldn't they? Become, no, you're absolutely right. Uh, it makes a lot of managers. sense. Mm -hmm. It does, and they, they do a great job. In fact, we had one here for a couple of years of who left to run the whole shooting match. Yeah, Rebecca Campbell. The whole shooting match. <laughs> and that's what it is out there. Oh, I saw, um, did you see Wall Street by any chance? No, no. You know, Shia LaBeouf was here on the he show. Was. Remember that? And we said, did you see the first one? He said, I was six months old. Six when months the, old. When the first one came up. That's a moment you and I will never forget. <laughs> That's right. Because I flinched, but you actually spasmed. <laughs> <laughs> He was a baby. It seemed like we just had the first Wall Street I movie I was like, a couple How did months that ago. I'm going to tell you something. This Shia LaBeouf is absolutely terrific. He's he is actor. so photogenic. Yeah, yeah. He's such a great looking young guy. Yeah. And of course, uh, there's the old pro himself, Michael Douglas, you know. Well, you know, I, I thought it was a, a good movie. It wasn't as good as the first one. Well, and rarely I mean, do the second ones come out as good as, as the first ones, you know. Well, because, the, I mean, that character of Gordon Gecko. Well, he won the, the Academy top, Award I mean, that the year. top of his game. He was so slick. And, you know, here was this, essentially he was an evil uh, thief, but you loved him. Yeah. You loved Gordon and, Gecko. And nothing has changed too much in Gordon. You know, you'll see. But at the end of the movie, he pulls a fast one on, on everybody. But uh, love to see Michael Douglas again. You know, he's such a terrific actor. I just love him. And yeah. so it was well done. Uh, yeah. You got to admit, and some of the shots of New York were oh. just fabulous. The buildings, you know, we really don't appreciate the city we're in because we can't see it. You're deep in the hole of it all. Well, yeah. <laughs> let me. <laughs> I've got to tell you, every time we come in from Long Island and and we're going to the tunnel, and you see the you see the entire city. That's where you see it. It's so gorgeous, you and you it. just are spellbound every time. Yeah, but he has like helicopter shots coming uh, 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 just above the Hudson River of all those billionaires. Mm. It's incredible. Mm. Guess who we ran into yesterday? Joy and I went out to lunch. Oh my gosh, you had a lunch date? Actually, sit outside, yeah. Wow. I like where this is headed, too. Lunch with her, dentist, shaking hands, then, then the Pablo Zat. Pablo Zat. Pablo yeah. Zat. And to top it all, I meet. Joe Scarborough and his co host. Sue Simmons. No, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm thinking Chuck Scarborough. Yeah. I'm thinking no, Chuck Scarborough. Scarborough. No, Joe Scarborough. Joe Scarborough from yeah. CNBC. Mika Brzezinski, right. right, right. right. Okay. I, I like Mika, this show. Right, yeah. I like this show very much. MSNBC. Right. MSNBC. They've got, MSNBC, they've got an right. early morning show. That's right. Morning and, Joe. Morning Joe. Right. And he said, You know how I got the idea for this show is watching your show and no. the opening segment of the show. Oh, I hope he's not watching it right now. No, probably not. <laughs> No, but they, they just sit around all day, you know. But here's the, here's the kick. They have different guests come in, spend an hour, and then the guests go that way, and, and more guests come in. It was just like a rotating, yeah. revolving uh, panel. And uh, I think it's a terrific show. He looked great. He was very happy. Oh, that's fantastic. But it all started right here. Right you know what I'm saying? that's right. You are, you are. And Joe knows it. Don't brag, it's undignified. <laughs> Just American downplay. Idol.